Hey everyone, it's Scott. Megan. We're from Color Space. In today's video for artists, uh, what we want to talk about is specifically how to prepare your artworks for display. So the segment, I guess, of the audience that we're specifically talking to is if you've had an artwork selected for display by Color Space, there's a few things that you can do to prepare your works before they come on display and to make sure that they're presented in the best possible light. Um, Megan, what's one of the first things that uh, you look for when an artwork is dropped off? Um, so one of the big things is making sure that your frame, your stretched frame is intact and it's not, not warped where it's been twisted or it's had some, the wood's had some water damage where it's swelled um, because if it's not sitting flush on the wall then we're unable to um, put it onto the client's wall and then all of a sudden you've then basically taken yourself out of that um, rotation viewing. Yeah, so the warp frames, look, it, it, if there's a little bit of warp, it's sort of okay when it's on a wall, but it's when you put your artwork on a wall and you can see like a corner is significantly coming out. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't present your artwork in a great light. Yeah. Um, similarly, if um, the canvas, the actual physical canvas that you're on has not been stretched tightly enough, and sometimes that's not like the fault of the artist, um, sometimes that is just the quality of the frame, but uh, we have had situations in the past where an artwork might be dropped off, but the, you can see that the fabric of the canvas is quite floppy and quite loose. And in those cases, we've actually had to swap out the artwork for a different piece, just because it really, it's really obvious. Um, and it's really obvious on a client wall where we're looking to present something that's, um, that's, that just looks nice, but then you see these little floppy bit at the and, bottom of it. And, and I'll say, I've been guilty of this, where I've created an artwork, um, and it's actually not been on a canvas material. It's actually been on, a, say, a linen material. And maybe when I've had it at home or in the studio, it was, it was tight. However, in the transportation, because it's, you know, a larger piece, maybe it's kind of gotten warped in in the um, car, the conditions, humidity, all that other thing, maybe, you know, either the, the, um, the frame has warped a little bit or the frame has um, compacted in some way where the, the canvas or the linen has become loose. Um, and so then I have to take that out of the rotation or take that off of a display and fix it. And um, these tend to be bigger problems with larger canvases, um, linen, whatever materials you're using. So if you're going over, I think, 150 centimeters, just be mindful um, that that can happen or to make sure that you've got extra supports either cross on the back of the canvas or in the corners to help give that frame more so the support to keep it tight. Um, sometimes things just happen. Sadly, we don't have um, a perfect solution for how to either de-warp um, a frame or to add the stretcher bars to the back of it. We Unfortunately, we don't have that skill set. The only recommendation we can have is that if you've noticed your frames like that and you want to get it fixed, we'd encourage you to um, probably take it off your profile or make it for sale only in your profile um, because Again, the thing that we're trying to mitigate is having collected the work, intending to put it on display mm. and then noticing an issue with it. Um, and again, even if we do manage to get it on display, it just decreases the likelihood of any potential purchases from buyers because it's just really obvious. Yeah. So that's one of the key things to um, watch out for. Um, probably another one, which is a really simple one, is please make sure that you've cleaned the artwork. Um, we have received some artworks before that may have come out of storage, which is perfectly fine, but it's a little bit dusty. Just give them a wipe down because one of the things is when we take um, photos of the artwork, the dust will show up on the artwork. Or if you have, if you've decided to frame your artwork, please clean the inside of the glass and the outside of the glass because in the photos we take when it's on display, 
we see it right away in the photos. Maybe we might not see it head on, but as soon as we go angle, the way the light hits it, it does expose um, that dirtiness, that dust or whatever, whatever you may be. That's a good segue to artists that have either artwork on paper or prints of your artwork. So uh, we, we can display frame like behind glass or behind per mm -hmm. perspex. We can display these pieces. One of the services that we provide that maybe not every artist is aware of is that we actually have our own stock of um, glass frames that we share between artworks. And the reason we offer this is to essentially minimize the cost to you as the artist. Mm. However, there are some stipulations. Yes. Right? Um, we only have a set number of sizes available. Mm. Um, essentially, A3, which is about the smallest that we, size we can accept, yep. A3, a2, A1, essentially. And then we do have a 90 by 60, which is a A1 poster, not quite as big as an A0. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, we only have a few of those. So. Yeah. So if you have a print that's like that, um, the question that you'll likely get from us is, can your works be cropped in the print? Um, and that's something that several artists that we've worked with have um, been happy to do this. So we're just kind of letting you know as a bit of a um, uh, expectation management that um, if you have prints that we can help display for you, we can provide the frames, but the ask is you'll probably be asked to crop um, your artwork down to some of those quote unquote standard sizes. In those cases, dropping the works off for um, our display, happy to have that just in a tube because what we'll do is we'll look after it. Um, if it's in a frame, obviously it's in a frame. We use, um, we, either, we, we often use matte boards mm. to be able to affix the artwork to the frame yep. and we use acid-free tape on the back to be able to do that. So we try our best to look after the prints as much as possible. And when we're talking about prints, we're not talking about like reproductions. We're talking about like screen prints, lithographs, the printing process. Um, so just to be clear on that, um, mm. just because with reproductions, uh, we've noticed that depending where you're getting it made, sometimes the quality is fantastic and that's fine, but sometimes it's just not up to standard. Or the fact is if you have a, a print, a version of your artwork, and you also have your original painting, we also might get questions from a client, hey, wait, why am I paying the same price for the original or for the print? So it's just, we want to present you in the best light and avoid conflicts. Absolutely. If there's any other questions that you have, please feel free to drop us an email and we'll answer them in future videos.